Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be using um, Bokeh to um, plot some bar plots with pandas data frames. Let's get started. So first off, let's go on and create up a new uh, uh, file here and let's call this um, Bokeh bar and I think we're on now 06. Let me make sure. 06.py and so the first thing that we're going to want to do is from uh, bokeh.plotting, we're going to import figure and show. Then we're also going to grab in from bokeh.models, we're going to import in the column data source. We're also going to do from bokeh.palettes, uh, we're going to import in the spectral. Um, and I believe uh, we want uh, 15. For this one, and then we'll also grab um, from bokeh dot sample data dot auto mpg. We're going to import auto mpg as df, so we'll make a data frame, and then we'll do from bokeh dot uh, transform. Uh, we need to import the factor C map because we're going to be plotting with some factors. Now the next thing that we want to do is uh, turn the um, cylinder data into, um, and I don't really like doing this version, so let's do uh, the cylinders here. We want to actually uh, turn these, or currently they are, um, they are uh, numerical um, and there's something like a one two three four for the number of cylinders we actually want to change the type of these to a string um, so that we can interact with them using the group by method so we're going to make a group in here uh, group by and we're going to do this by the cylinder uh, and again this is very similar to um, what we did in the, the, the last video when we were using um, uh, using the uh, tuples for the quarters and the months okay um, very similar in in that aspect so let's also now um, make our source data and I don't know why I keep doing that but let's delete that we'll go down here uh, and then this uh, column data source data is going to be group uh, and then the next thing that we're going to want to do is uh, make a cylinder uh, C map. Okay, and this is going to be use the factor C map in here. We are going to grab the cylinders. We want our palette palette in here is going to be uh, from the spectral and um, and that is not supposed to be 15. I said 15. I don't know why I said 15 because 15 doesn't exist. We want five because there's four of them. Um, or maybe five of them. Uh, factors here is sorted, and we are going to use the df dot uh, uh, df cylinder in here, and we want the unique values from that. So then let's go on and create our figure in here, and p dot uh, is going to be our figure, and we want to plot the height here um, is going to be what? Let's do 400. Uh, X range. And here is going to be the group. A title in here is going to be MPG by um, the num, excuse me, the number of cylinders. And then we also are going to go on and uh, turn off our toolbar. And we do not want any tools. Uh, so we're going to be uh, doing a uh, vertical bar. X here is going to be the cylinders. Um, the top in here is going to be MPG mean. Um, and then in here we also want uh, the width in here is going to be one because we want the full thing source is going to be source and our line uh, color in here is going to be our cylinder C map and our fill color is also going to be the cylinder C map as well 
And then the last, you know what, let's go on and show this and then we'll make sure that we do our cleanup um, quickly. So here we actually see that we have our um, our cylinders, or our, the number of cylinders. So notice here it's uh, three, four, five, six, eight. Um, and so again, this, this looks actually uh, pretty decent. Um, but the thing is, again, we still have this, this um, bump up in here. We want them actually sitting down on the ground. Um, and then maybe we want to um, make our, um, we need to get rid of these lines as well. And I think that, that may be enough for, uh, for this one. So first thing is p dot y range here dot start is going to be zero. And then we want our p dot x uh, grid dot uh, grid line color is going to be none. Um, and I think that's going to do it for us right now. So notice here that we have our nice um, our nice uh, plot. Again, we could maybe do some other stuff, maybe make um, all of this a little bit bigger, maybe change the fonts or something like that, but that's not necessary right now. Um, now let's maybe go on and here, this, this does look awfully boring. So let's also maybe add in um, maybe the manufacturer data, okay? And uh, potentially maybe, um, I don't know, what else would we wanna do? Maybe, I don't know, maybe the year or something. Well, let's um, let's let's go on and and actually look at that and see. Um, so let me pull pull that up really quickly. So let's pull this up over here and let's see. I think we're going to be good with um, with this. Let's let's pull. C factor, all of these are gonna be the same. Now this we're going to change um, just a little bit, okay? So um, are we going to need, the only other thing I can think of that we may want is the year, but I don't think we're gonna need that just uh, uh, for this example. So let's go on and just skip that. So the group by in here, we're going to group by actually, um, two variables in here. So we want um, the cylinder and we want the manufacturer in here as well. And so then we're going to change this to C map of um, cylinder underscore manufacturer. Um, the spectral is going to be the same. Um, uh, we want these to be uh, unique and then we want this to go end is equal to one in here and I'm going to say cylinder underscore manufacturer C map um, and what this will do is it'll technically technically it's going to be two but it's going to be coloring um, everything based on the cylinders um, and our Groupings, uh, sourcing the data is going to be fine. Um, right now, we're going to need to make this significantly larger. So our plot, um, actually, I'm gonna go on and comment this stuff out. And we'll go on and put put some new stuff in here. So the next thing that we want in here is let's do P is equal to figure uh, PLT. We want the width in here to be pretty big. So 800, uh, the plot height and here will be 400. Uh, title is going to be the mean MPG by the, by the, by the number of cylinders. Uh, and um, let's actually do it correctly. Cylinders and manufacturers. 
There's an R in there. All right, and the manufacturers. Um, now we also are going to want to put in here our X range here is going to be from the group. The tool bar location, again, is going to set to none. Our um, tool tips, though, um, let's have what we want MPG. Um, and then we want this to be at MPG mean. Uh, we want the cylinder uh, with um, the manufacturer. And this would be at SYL underscore MFR. Uh, and then I think that will be good for that piece. Now let's also go on and make our uh, v bar in here. X is going to be the cylinder by the manufacturer. Um, the top here is going to be the MPG mean. Um, and then width here will be one. Um, source is going to be source. Uh, and then line color in here will be white. Uh, and then the fill color in here will be uh, the cycle cylinder stuff and this needs to be an equal sign in here uh, and I think I think we're doing okay with this um, last couple things again p dot y range dot start is going to be zero we want p dot x range dot range dot range padding here is going to be 0 0.05 um, p dot x grid dot grid line color is going to be none um, uh, another thing that we're going to want in here is p dot x axis dot um, major label orientation is going to be 1.2 um, because we want a heavier tilt on that and we're also going to remove the outline edge as well so let's take a look oh and what didn't it like here uh, oh, and I put it probably a GPR somewhere instead of an MPR so GP P R, no. Hmm. Hold on. Let's do print df dot head. Oh, okay. So the issue that I uh, see here again, I first thought it was manufacturer MFR. It's going to be name instead. So this needs to be name. I'm going to go on and change this to name. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And I'll keep manufacturing here, but I'll say here's name. Name. Anywhere else that we need this? Let's give that a try and see if we missed anywhere else. Um, oh, tool tips. Tool. Tool tips. Mm, and we're still missing another one in here. Um, Okay, so let me double check on the another piece right here. So doing a little bit of cleaning. Oh, here. Okay, so this needs to end in that, and then here needs to be cleaned up as well, right there. Oh, and did I forget to do show? Yep, okay, so I didn't I didn't actually show it. Uh, 
Okay, and nothing appeared. All right, so what are we missing here? Let's take a look in here, and something in here is still probably called this uh, cylinder manufacturer. Whoops. Oh, right here. Okay, and this needs to be name. I'll have to delete that head uh, visualization. All right, now this looks absolutely atrocious, okay? Because again, we have so many full names in there and everything. So we're going to want to go on and actually clean up um, some of these um, names. Now, one thing that I believe we can do is instead of, and this is probably where I had the manufacturer, I think there is a underscore clean. And let me go on and comment this stuff out real quick. Um, and see, we may have to undo some stuff that we just did. Run this, and now um, there's year, name. All right, so here's the actually the clean one is the manufacturer. So what I remembered was the manufacturer clean. So again, this is kind of nice. You can see here that this is really messy. We do have all of this information that's popping up, but we also want to go on and um, change this back. So I'm going to say um, here I want to find the name. And we're going to replace it with M F R, and we're going to uh, replace them all. And that should do it for us. All right, so now we actually have a properly cleaned data set here. Okay, so um, again, this has been a little bit of a long road here, but we can see that we can hover over everything. We have a nice clean data set. And again, what is nice is that if, for example, you did have that really horrible looking um, graph that we originally had before, you can go back and actually clean up um, your your data and your visualizations to actually make it look nice. And that's, that's technically what would happen here is whenever we use this clean, um, the auto MPG clean data set instead of just the auto MPG. Okay, so again, a lot of the times you're gonna be doing your data cleaning beforehand, but sometimes if you get a data from someone else, you need to go on and clean it as well. This is something that you can go on and do. So if you guys found this helpful, um, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.